Welcome back, Lurkana fans. Today we are going to be going through and playing a Emerald Steel discard budget deck. It's currently costing around $69, so it's just under the 70 mark. It's a little over the $50 mark, but I'm sure you have a lot of these cards. A lot of them are mostly commons, and you'll see that there's no legendaries in this. There's a couple of super rares and a few other rares, but mostly just commons and uncommons. It does have a good amount of floodboard, and hopefully will keep your opponent discarding while you lure your way to victory. And remember, if you like this video, please smash the thumbs up button, give us a like, and subscribe for many more Larkana news, updates, gameplay videos, and guides. And this deck revolves around you making your opponent discard cards from their hand, and you're drawing cards with Prince John every time they discard. And just an FYI, I do see people asking this sometimes, discarding is from your hand, not from cards in play. So, let's just jump right into the breakdown of this deck. The idea is you want to start with Bucky and Prince John in your opening hand, or at the very least Bucky, but ideally you want both, and discard your whole hand if you have to with the exception of Hook, because he's going to be your only one ink card, and he's just there for the offense, and go second if you have a bad card draw and mulligan. Again, you want to try to get that extra card. If you go first, you don't get to draw a card. After Captain Hook, we have 4 Flynn Rider at 2 ink. He is good for making your opponent discard cards with his ability, and he gives you a 2 lore early game. And he's also good at singing Sudden Chill, which we have 4 of, to help you draw an engine with Prince John in play. And you can also shift to his Shift version, which we have 4 of as well, of his own biggest fan for 2 ink instead of 4, which is one of your few non-inkable cards, and is a Floodborne, so we can start putting Bucky to work right away. And of course, with a 2 ink, we have Bucky there to make your opponent discard a card every time you play a Floodborne character. Bucky is going to be one of the key parts of this deck. And again, really want to try to get him in your opening hand. This is why at 3 ink, we have Prince John coming in to also let us draw a card every time your opponent discards a card. And I cannot stress this enough. Do not quest with these two. They are purely support, unless your opponent's board is cleared to do so. But again, watch out for any rush characters such as Maui or Queen of Hearts or Madam Mim. We also have four Hypnotize at three ink to help draw cards and make your opponent discard cards. We got three Mother's Knows Best to return a card from play back into their player's hand and hopefully we can make him discard it with one of our Floodborne or one of our Hypnotizes. At 2 ink, we have 3 Cinderella's to help us fish for cards early on, and that'll help us fish for cards that we may be in search for, in case we didn't get that Bucky or Prince John. But she can also shift to her Knight version at 5 ink, uh, 7 of normally, so to gain the benefit from Bucky and Prince John, and she is one of their late game hitters, and she can lure for 3, so she's a big heavy hitter, and hopefully we can make our opponents discard cards out of their hand, by the time she comes into play, she they'll have no cards in their hand, and she should be tough to deal with. And just be careful by turn 7 for a be prepared if you're playing against Ruby. And I will say, if you have a Prince John and Bucky already in play, and you have one of each again in your hand, do not play them until after turn 7, because chances are likely they will be getting hit with a be prepared, and that will wipe your board. At 3 ink, we have 4 Hercules for his bodyguard to help protect John and Bucky, but he's also there for his shift version at 4 ink instead of his normal 6, and we have 3 of the big guy in there because he's a Floodborn and he's going to benefit from Bucky, and he's also a big hitter for offense, and he also gives you that to lore. We also have 4 Donald Duck who is Floodborn at 4 ink, and you and your opponent may draw a card at the start of your turn, and if your opponent does, he will not be keeping that card for long. And also at 4 rank, we have 4 Jafar Dreadnought for offense and card draw every time he banishes a character. And he is a Floodborne as well, so Bucky will be very, very busy. At 5 ink, we have 3 Hook Shift versions, thinking a happy thought for late game offense. He can be played early with Shift of 3 to keep your opponent from overrunning you, and is another Floodborne to back up Bucky. And lastly, at 6 ink, we have 3 Giant Tinkerbells to also help with the late game offense. And she's a Floodborne, she lures for two, and she's just a great card all around. Total, we have 25 Floodborne characters out of 60 cards. So again, you really want to get Bucky out ASAP to keep your opponent's hand empty. And most of them can shift early to mid-game, so hopefully we can get the cards we need. Again, we have Cinderella early on to help fish for cards you may need, or ink if nothing else. And don't worry, I'll have a link to the deck list down below, so please check it out. And please leave a comment on why you like or dislike this deck. And to give a breakdown of the deck here on the Dreamborn, the deck cost total is $69.67. The most expensive cards is the Tinkerbell, which is running about $9.64 currently. We only have three of her, 
just to try to keep the cost down a little bit. I mean, you could put four in there if you want, take out something else, or if you only got one or two, put put in maybe an extra Hulk or an extra Hercules if you got it. And looking down here, we got 29 steel characters, we got 31 emerald, we only got 13 non-inkable cards, so that is great. We're not going to be getting a whole lot of, hopefully, stuck with a lot of non-inkable cards in your opening hand. That is one thing that kind of sucks sometimes. You get 20 cards that are non-inkable, and even when you mulligan, you get a mythful. We don't want that. 13, we should be pretty safe. We got 47, which are inkable. We got 49 characters. We got 4 actions and 7 songs. So, we're just going to jump right in here on the pixel board, and let's just give this deck a roll. So we're just going to jump into a game here, let's see what we're going to find, let's see here, we're going to go into the ranked, we're going to use the Floodborne discard deck as I like to call it, and we're just going to see what happens. Now we're up against one of the top tier decks, I would say, Ruby Amethyst. We're going to want to make our opponent discard the cards as fast as we can, we can start off with a Bucky which is pretty good, I'd like to see Prince John, I'm going to keep the two Hercules though. See if we can get ourselves a Prince John. We got two Buckies. I'm a little worried, but we'll see what happens. I'm going first. Didn't get any. Didn't get any one ink plays here, so we'll just pass the turn. Let's see what our opponent's going to do. Probably play an Olaf or a Minnie Mouse. And he inks a Maleficent Dragon, and there's the Minnie Mouse. Well, we don't want the. Uh, We'll throw the Cinderella, and we'll play the Bucky, we'll pass the turn. Now, let's see, now should I play Hercules, or should I play another Bucky? I think I'm going to play another Bucky, try to get rid of those cards. I don't have a Prince John for the disc, for the draw, and I'm going to throw the hook. We'll get two Buckies in the play here. Got two Buckies in play, so at least we can make him discard twice. Try to get rid of those cards. Okay, he's going for the draw. Okie dokie. We're going to throw the Hercules. And we're going to make him discard a couple of cards. We really want to get rid of those cards. We do not want him having be prepared in their hand by turn 7. Alright. Let's see if that's going to help us any. Hopefully we got rid of something nasty. And we'll pass the turn. And he plays a Maleficent. Didn't like me to make him throw cards, so he's going to draw a Maleficent. And this Jafar is a great card, because whenever he banishes something, you get to draw a card. So that helps, hopefully, us, lets us fish for something that we are going to be needing. I would love to be able to play him right now, but for now... We are going to make him discard a couple more cards. So that'll get rid of two more cards. And the opponent discarded two more cards. Now, do I want to attack? Don't really want to quest with him. You know what? I'm going to pass the turn. Because after this round, my opponent will not have any cards, hopefully. We will be using the Hypnotize to ink to play the Hercules, and then we'll start questing with our non-Bucky characters. Would have been nice to have the Prince John, but getting those two Buckies out is nice. We do not want him having to be prepared, so we got to try to... really got to try to put the heat on here. Left himself open for attack from Jafar now. 
No, should have seen that coming. Don't. <laughs> Got another Jafar. You know what? It's only got two cards left. I need some of the lore here. He gives me two lore, so we're gonna do that. And we're gonna start questing with our other two. Not with Bucky though. Bucky is doing his job. Bucky is working hard. That a boy, Bucky. That a boy, Bucky. Go, Hook, go, Jafar. And we'll pass. So now I got my opponent just drawn off the top of his deck. Now I put my opponent in a position, which is good. He cannot attack Hook. I can't. He characters with three costs or less can't challenge this character. Well, he's only got one, one target. And there goes my Jafar. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, well. He doesn't have a be prepared right now. I kind of have to. I kind of didn't want to throw that Jafar, but I'm making the call here for the Cinderella to get that lore. We want to, uh. We gotta start pushing before he top top decks the be prepared we don't want to see that hitting the board still wish I had that Jafar though and let's see we got ourselves another Cinderella we got nothing to draw so we're gonna start lowering our way hopefully to victory my opponent really wants to be prepared. I do not want to see a be prepared. This is the idea. We gotta. He's playing a Maui. Probably take out. I would go for Hercules if I was. Uh, no. Actually, I don't think he can take out the Hercules game. Yeah, he could have. Could have took out the Hercules. He's going to lure with the rabbit. And I get another Hercules. Well, we'll use the bodyguard. And it'd be silly not to. We're going all the way now. We don't need Bucky no more. We're going all out. Last turn, hopefully. Don't be a be prepared. <laughs> Got. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. Okay, he's going for the attack, so he didn't. Uh, he didn't draw. Be prepared. Well, he's fishing. He's fishing. Don't want to be prepared. Hey, okay, good. He doesn't have it. That's all right. Going for the Cinderella. Not quite enough. It's not going to be enough. He took out a few of my my characters, but not enough. To, I don't think to. There we go. A victory. I'll take it. All right. We'll try this again here. We're gonna go with the. Floodborne deck here. Let's see if we can get our deck rolling with the Prince Johns and the Buckies. That would be amazing. That's what we need. All right, Amber Ruby. Now, am I against an aggro? Am I, if I am, I definitely want some early turn cards. Would love to see them, Bucky. We got a Sudden Chill. We got a Hypnotize, a Flynn Rider, a Donald Duck. Didn't get a Bucky. But I need something that can... No, okay. I do got a Prince John. And I don't want to... Wish I didn't get that Flynn Rider, though. But we, unfortunately, don't have a turn two card. Oh, we're probably, 
Probably playing against Mufasa deck here. I did not want a second Prince John. Did not want that second Prince John. Ground throw to hypnotize. But at least I can sing Sudden Chill with Flynn Rider. Hook is there strictly for offense, so we're not going to use him uh, when our opponent has something that we can take off the board if he's sitting there with a queen. Because the queen will just take out her hook. I would rather take out his queen. Opponent is playing a Simba. He's going for the bodyguard. Alright, now we can play a Prince John. And we'll use Flynn Rider to sing the sudden chill. And I mean, if he wants to attack Flynn Rider, go right ahead. There's our Bucky. Our opponent's going to be shifting the queen here, I believe. No, he threw the queen. Opponent is thinking. Oh, you went with... Uh, I'm surprised. Okay. He's going for the lore. I'm surprised he threw the queen. I guess he figured he had not enough. Oh, God, that hurts. Wow. Okay, that really not cool. I got another Prince John. I'll use the hook to take out the Simba anyway, the bodyguard. Gotta get those cards out of our opponent's hands before he plays something real ugly. Like that. Which thankfully is going into the inkwell for now. Drawing that Prince John last round. It was only 13 non inkables. Yeah. Well. Let me think here now. Of course, only 13 non inkables, and that's all I'm drawing. So. I've got an idea. We're not going to return anything to his hand yet. Can't play. We could shift him. But you know what? I need some card draw. We're not losing yet. I need the card draw. Got to watch out for that, what you call it, the be prepared there for turn seven. That's not good. That's not going to matter. It's going to make him discard a card. It's going to let me draw two cards. I'll take that. Now we finally got some inkables. I'd love to draw another Bucky right now. Oh, wow. Okay. So, let's see here. Hmm. Actually going to use one of our Prince John's to sing. Oh, sh shoot. Wow, I messed up. I can't play him. Uh, Lord love a duck, I messed up on that one. I wanted him to discard that. I totally messed up on that one, folks. This I definitely gotta lose this game here now. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, I'm just gonna take out my Prince John. I'd be surprised if he didn't. He might use his dwarf to quest, but to play something bigger. But I messed up. Okay. Yeah, a Rapunzel. At this rate, I am not going to... At this rate, I am not going to win. No, this is not looking good. Too many non-inkables off the hop. 
but at least we'll try to make him discard those cards. Okay, give me something good. Oh, we'll play a hook. Alright, now, can we stop our opponent's progress? Good, now he's top decking. He's got six points on the board right now. The question is, can I do this fast enough? Okay, I don't want to play Donald Duck, I don't think. He's got no cards to discard. But Donald Duck would give me two lore. He's got nothing to discard. Hmm. Who can take out Happy or Doc? Slow him down there. Yeah, we're going to play the Hercules. We'll play the big guy. And you know what? We're going to put some pressure on my opponent here. So I'm at 8, 10. I got 10 points on the board right now. Put my opponent in a position here now. Can I beat the Mufasa Ruby with my discard? Come on. Come on. Okay, okay. Hmm. I'm just gonna take out. I can't take. Oh, uh, well, Prince John's there more. Okay, I can't hit him. Wow, he's ignoring me. Oh, he's gonna use the stitch. No. Wow. Okay. That's game. Sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, and there you go. Look at that. Oh, oh, come on. Let me get the last point, man. And we beat another top tier deck, the Mufasa Ruby Emerald. Not bad, not bad. Gotta get those cards out of their hands quickly. And let's see, let's give it another whirl, see how we do. It's definitely a fun deck though once you get it rolling. You just gotta get past the couple, first couple of turns, get your Bucky, your Prince John by turn four if you can start a rolling. All right, up against Sapphire Amethyst. Okay, we don't need all those Prince Johns, that's for sure. Oh, Lord of Duck. Okay, we'll throw one Prince John. We'll throw all that, maybe. Too much non-inkables. We're going to keep these four. Okay, that's not bad. That's all right. Would have liked to have seen a Captain Hook off the hop, but... Okay. Yeah, it's not Floodborne's going to go. Getting Jafar out, turn four, and hopefully we can start rolling with the with the Floodborne characters. A little bit of card draw power for him, and yeah, he's going to lower to one. Okay, sorry, Herc, we don't want you. And pretty standard opening move for me. Okay, there's a diggin. Not bad. Getting too lower from that one. It's gonna speed him along. Alright, okay. I like that. Let's see, we're gonna play a Prince John. Just a little too let's see, you know what? We will throw the lower Cinderella. We are playing her. She ain't gonna do me no good. Next, we want to start playing these Jafars. Yeah, you can have a look at my hand. 
now you know what's coming. He's trying to get rid of those cards fast. We're going to try to hold on to that Donald Duck, though, when he has no cards. This is the only thing about this deck. is It's slow going. Its biggest weakness will be aggro decks, as you can see. on the board here now. Don't have another Prince John. I still have a Bucky. You know what? I'm going to see if he takes the bait. See if he takes the bait. Tries to take up my Prince John. No, he's lowering. He's throwing his cards. Okay. Good. That's what I want. Take the bait, slow him down. We had to sacrifice a Prince John in the process, but that's alright. Throw the hook, maybe. Then again, he's cheap. We got lots of floodborne characters for now, you know what? He's gonna let me draw some cards. Let's see, we gotta get some control on the board here. Now the poo can go, so we don't need him gaining that lore. And a Cinderella. So now my opponent's top deck, and let's hope he doesn't get a good draw. Because I gotta try to take out everything that's on his board here if he quests with it. Hmm. Yeah. He's getting some more card draw. But he's not questing. He's not questing, that's the main thing. fine. That is A-OK -okay with me. Alright. Okie dokie. Well, I think I'm gonna do... I think I'm gonna play Donald. Give me some cards. I got enough cards to give him. Hopefully I can make him discard. catch up here. Keep the pressure on. My opponent now has... Oh, that hurt. That we don't want to see. Mother's knows best right now. It'd be great. Oh my lord, love a duck. Just what I wanted. Oh dear. Okay. Turn her to his hand. You yeah, definitely don't need that. Can we make a comeback, folks? Can we do it? best was definitely a good one. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. This is getting getting close. This is getting close. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay. I have another Mother's Knows Best. That's seven. See here, I got two buckies. Okay, so we definitely don't need that Yzma. You, boo, go away. Play another Jafar. Yes, get rid of those cards. Can I buy myself enough time? Come on. Oh my lord, he gave up. Look at that. Wow. Okay, well. I think the game could have gone either way, but he had enough of that. Wow. Okay, good game. Yeah, she's a little bit of a slow roll from the start, but you just got to watch out for the aggro decks and the matchups. Eh, let's give it another whirl to see what happens. Let's see what we can do. Eh, let's see. Emerald Ruby, eh? Okay, Emerald Ruby. I go first. Okay, we got a Bucky, another Bucky, a hook, and a hook. Wow. Actually, I think I'm going to run with this. The, uh, wow, okay. I'm going first, though. Turn one, play the hook. Turn two, play a Bucky. Turn three, play a Bucky. And hopefully... Would have liked to go on second. I think, but let's see. Let's see if I can make my opponent discard his cards before he plays. Be prepared. So up first we got the lovely Minnie Mouse. Oh. Oh. Much as I want to keep her. Probably. That's a tough call. That is a tough call. You know what? I don't know if that was a big mistake or not. He can't take out my hook. Well, uh, no, he doesn't. He's not playing bounce, so he should be safe with the hook questing for now. Some Floodborne characters now. The next three characters are Floodborne. We'll pass. Let's see what my opponent's going to do next. After this, though, I'm hoping to really hit him hard. I'm hoping my opponent's not going to have cards there in the next round or two. Yeah, okay, that was good. I was a little concerned I might get something not inkable. some of his cards. That's what we want. And we'll get rid of the foe. Slow him down a little bit until I can get the wheels rolling on this. And hopefully I can get another inkable card. I don't want to ink my Tinkerbell. I will if I have to. I will actually benefit from that Donald Duck. Of course, so will he. Okay. Well, first things first. Let's get another card. Let's see, I don't want to ink that, that Cinderella either if I don't have to, because we're getting close to being able to cast her. Another Bucky, eh? Ooh. Okay, I got two on the board. You know what? I'm going to take the risk. Let that be prepared. Get this out into play. And hopefully he doesn't draw a beat prepared. That Donald Duck's definitely got to go. Well, he said well played. We'll give him... Oop, I didn't mean to say greetings. Thanks. I don't want to quest with my Bucky's though. I don't want him to play a beat prepared. Come on, something good. He's dumping his hand. Good, I'll be prepared. Yep, 
I'll make that trade. Okay, that's all right. Uh, let's think here, I could play that. No, silly. Get some control on the board here. All right, see if we can start making our little comeback now. I'll definitely take advantage of the Donald Duck situation. I'll be prepared. Okay, good. All right. Oh, it is starting to get a little carried away on the lore. the Donald Duck make him discard that. Okay. We are actually going to sing with the Tinkerbell, I think. No, we're not going to sing with the Tinkerbell. Sorry. We're going to cast that. Get rid of that. We then play that. Make him discard it. No mini for you. Take out his Donald Duck. Yeah. Gain total board control here now. Alright, this is looking good. I'm liking where this is going. And you know what? I'm even gonna quest both my buckies now. I can lose one. I, I do believe I can afford to lose one. And my opponent said that's enough of that good game oh well, there you have it folks emerald steel is a lot of fun it's it can be rough to get going off the start but as you can see this deck like i said i think it cost about 69 bucks just below the 70 dollar range worked out pretty good you don't need beast tragic hero i mean yes he's an awesome card but right now uh up here in canada i was looking he's about 80 dollars so not a lot of people can have the beast. You don't need the beast for this deck to work good. You don't need to go out and spend hundreds of dollars. You can improvise with what you have. It all that matters is getting your Bucky's out, your Prince John, and your Floodborne. That's why Steel is so great. Steel has a lot of cheap Floodborne characters, and it's got a lot of different Floodborne characters. You could also try putting maybe Chief Bogo in there to get that little extra synergy when playing Floodborne, but the only thing about doing that is you're going to be slowing down your progression to getting lore because you're going to set up, take more turns to set up before you start rolling. The idea is get Bucky out in turn two. Prince John, ideally. I actually kind of like getting the second Bucky out if you have uh, Jafar in your hand because then you're discarding, they're discarding two cards. And that actually makes up, I think, for the lack of discard you're going to have. And then maybe play Prince John a little later in the round. You got to get that their hands emptied, especially if you're playing against Ruby or Steel, which I would say, you know, over half the time you're going to run into. But if you like this video, ladies and gentlemen, please smash the thumbs up button again. Give us a like and a subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.